Hi friends, it's teacher Sarah. Today I will be reading a story about one of our favorite tricky spiders, Anansi. And this story is called Anansi and the Magic Stick. It was written by Eric A. Kimmel and it was illustrated by Janet Stevens. Uh-oh, look at all those animals in the river. Anansi and the Magic Stick. It was a fine, bright day. All the animals were working, working, working in their gardens, all except Anansi the spider. Anansi lay in his front yard, fast asleep. Warthog, Lion, and Zebra came walking by. Look at Anansi, he is so sleepy, said Zebra. His house is falling apart. His yard is full of trash. He wouldn't get out of bed if his house was so dirty. Anansi is so lazy. He falls asleep standing up, said Lion. He is so sleepy, moss grows on his head, Warthog added. Their noisy laughter woke Anansi. Be quiet. I am not sleeping at all. I am thinking. My mind is working hard. Anansi tapped his forehead. The animals laughed even harder. Anansi walked away. I don't have to listen to you. I'll find another place to sleep. I mean, think. Anansi started walking, walking, walking down the road. Before he knew it, he had walked all the way to Hyena's house. His house was neat and tidy. Hyena lay in his hammock. His yard was beautifully planted with shrubs and flowers. What is Hyena's secret, Anansi wondered. No one ever sees him working. Yet his house always looks beautiful. I need to find out how he does it. Anansi hid behind a bush, watching and waiting. Hmm, I wonder how Hyena keeps his house so clean. Hyena woke up. He noticed a pile of dust on the path. He spoke to a stick leaning against a post. There's the stick. Hocus pocus magic stick, sweep this dust up. Quick, quick, quick. As Anansi watched, the magic stick swept away the dust. When the dust was gone, Hyena said, Abracadabra, cadabra. Down fell the stick. Hyena leaned it back against the post and went inside his house. That's just what I need, Anansi said. If I had that magic stick, my house would be as beautiful as Hyena's. No one would laugh at me again. Anansi grabbed the magic stick and ran off as fast as his legs could go. I wonder where he's going. Let's find out. He soon became tired. Why am I carrying this stick? It can carry me. Anansi said the magic words just as he remembered them. Hocus pocus, magic stick, carry me home now, quick, quick, quick. The stick picked up Anansi and carried him along. When they arrived at Anansi's house, he said, Abracadabra, cadabra, kapoom. The magic stick dropped Anansi on his head. Ow, Anansi cried. Next time, put me down gently, stick. There's lots of work to do. Let's get rid of this trash first. Anansi said the magic words. Do you remember the magic words? Can you help me say them? Hocus pocus, magic stick, clean my yard up, quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. It gathered all the trash and threw it over the fence into Lion's yard. Uh-oh, not sure Lion will be so happy about that. Abracadabra, cadabra, down fell the stick. Good job, stick. Next, my house. Hocus pocus, magic stick. Fix my house up, quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. Wood and nails flew through the air. Bright pink 
paint splashed over the fence a zebra came walking by. Anansi's house gleamed. So did zebra. He was bright pink too. Uh-oh. Now the zebra is pink and black instead of white and black. Abracadabra, cadabra. Down fell the stick. Now for my garden, Anansi said. Hocus pocus, magic stick, plant and water, quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. It dug up the dirt, throwing the weeds into Warthog's tomato patch. It planted seeds in neat straight rows. Then it began to water them. Anansi yawned. Ooh, watching all this work makes me tired. I need a nap. Keep watering, stick. Don't stop. Anansi lay down and went to sleep. So if Anansi's going to sleep and the stick keeps watering, uh-oh, what could happen? The magic stick kept watering, watering, watering. The vegetables grew bigger, bigger, bigger. My goodness, look how small the tomatoes are here. With all that water, they grew so big. The water flowed across Anansi's yard and out the gate. A trickle at first, and then a stream. Then, uh-oh, a flood. Then, a mighty river. Oh no, everyone's getting swept up in the river. Even some broccoli, a chair. I see a rhinoceros. What else do you spy floating down the river? Help, the animals cried. Help, cried Anansi, waking up to find himself afloat in the middle of a raging river. He tried to make the water stop but he couldn't remember the magic words. Hmm, what are the magic words? Do you remember? Let's see. Canabra, catabra, cadabra? No. Calabra, cazabra, cavabra? Still no. Cajabra, camabra, capabra? Definitely not. Nothing happened. The water kept flowing. Help, cried Anansi. There's Anansi on top of the tomato. Hyena came drifting by. Look at Hyena, he's in a boat. He's got an umbrella and a drink. Hello, Anansi, he said. It's a nice day to be on the water. By the way, I'm looking for a magic stick. Have you seen it? What do you think? Has Anansi seen the magic stick? A funny looking stick just came floating by, Anansi said. I can't see it now. It must be underwater. I think Crocodile ate it. Or else he's using it as a toothpick. I better get it back before he breaks it. Hyena leaned over the water and said, Hocus pocus magic stick. No more magic. End of trick. Abra canabra. Cadabra. The river stopped flowing, leaving behind a wide lake. What are you going to do about this lake? The animals asked. There's nothing I can do, Hyena said. The lake is here and here it stays. You'll have to learn to enjoy it. So they did. The animals built new homes on the lake shore. They swam, jumped, and played in the bright blue water. But someone was missing. Where was Anansi? Did the flood sweep him away? Did he tumble over a waterfall? What do you think? Where did Anansi go, I wonder? Poor Anansi. <laughs> the animals sniffled, wiping away their tears. We'll never see him again. Oh. But they were wrong. Anansi was far away on the other side of the lake, floating alone in his new houseboat, sleeping all day 
and planning new tricks, which is just what Anansi does best. Anansi built his own house. Thank you for listening, everybody.